so guys welcome to my new Genshin impact video guys in this video we are going to talk about is ayaka is still worth in 2023 ayaka has been released uh, for over one year now so we're gonna talk about this ayaka is still worth in 2023 or not talking about her gameplay uh, ayaka deals all cryo damage which you, you can apply by sprinting you can apply cryo and then you if you perform a charge attack you can deal cryo damage and that charge attack cryo damage is pretty high if you use ayaka with a proper team then with the elemental skill also you, you can easily hit up to 40 to 50 k damage with on a proper ayaka build then guys building ayaka is also very easy like uh, uh, in today's a uh, game, the building a, a character and grinding for an artifact a in the game in Genshin Impact is pretty hard. Like farming for a specific artifact and a specific artifact set is pretty hard. But uh, if you wanna build your Ayaka, uh, building a Ayaka is gonna gonna be very very easy. Why? Because uh, you have to, you you have to give your Ayaka Blizzard four piece set. Blizzard four piece set is just amazing on Ayaka. In the two piece, it gives cryo damage bonus by 15% and 4 pieces is just a uh, more crit rate uh, for gives 20% crit rate when the opponent is affected by cryo give extra 20% crit rate if the characters got frozen so with this artifact said uh, you can gain like 20% of crit rate for all the time because uh, cry uh, ayaka deals cryo damage and opponent gonna be affected by cryo all the time so with this artifact set fifth four piece you can gain 20 percent uh, crit trade easily and if you use a fr um, frozen team if you use a frozen team with ayaka you can of course gain a 20 percent extra uh, crit rate also that means you are gaining a 40 percent crit rate here then you don't have to worry about the crit rate that's why most of the people here uses 20 percent or 30 percent and 40 percent only crit rate uh, with uh, on ayaka and they only focus on crit damage even they give crit damage weapon here if you don't have this miss splitter most most of the guy most of the players give black clip just because of this crit damage over here and in artifacts also maximum uh, maximum player focus only on crit damage as you can easily gain 40% crit rate here not on not only this you can also gain extra 20% crit rate with the cryo resonance if you go and see here you can gain extra 15% not uh, 20% my bad you can gain extra 15% more crit rate here increase crit rate against opponents that are frozen or affected by cryo by 15% so you can in total gain 55% crit rate on Ayaka without spending a single crit rate artifact on Ayaka so you can run your Ayaka with 20% crit rate or 30% crit rate and your Ayaka will have around 60 to 70% crit rate easily that's gonna be very very good so building Ayaka in my opinion is very easy because the weapon options are also here and the weapon options are also um, very um, like lots of wish weapon options are there in uh, five stars also there are many weapons that you can give to your ayaka and in four stars also there are many weapons that you can give to your ayaka so in terms of weapons weapons uh, option you have like you have plenty of weapon options and artifact set is the only blizzard but i guess it's the easiest artifact to uh, grind and to build a character so in terms of building ayaka Ayaka is the easiest character that you can build in Genshin Impact. You don't have to worry about the crit rate. Just find the artif all artifacts with the crit damage. And it, at the end, just have uh, like these kind of type of strats easily. Like you don't have to uh, war farm that hard compared to other DPS character. And also the energy duty. generation rate As is also mediocre. Gems. Like average energy generation rate. I don't say uh, ki, uh, Ayaka having very bad ener energy generation rate. No, it's a mediocre. If you use any other uh, cryo character with Ayaka, the energy uh, you don't gon you're never gonna have that much of energy. So now let's talk about the damage percentages and the play style. So Ayaka deals three kind of damages. First he deals damage in the charge attack. Then he deals damage in the elemental skill. Then he deals damage in the elemental burst. The maximum damage she gives 
in her elemental burst. So elemental burst going to be prime option in order to give a massive amount of damage with Ayaka. That's why I never prefer anyone to use Shimenawa on Ayaka because Shimenawa, uh, with the Shimenawa, you uh, the, uh, deploying the elemental burst is very hard because you lose 15 energy every time you cast your elemental skill. So in the artifact set, my like uh, my option is gonna be the only option is gonna be the blizzard. blizzard so the teams, there are many teams that you can use with Ayaka. You can go for the frozen team. You can go for the full cryo team. Full cryo team gonna be also gonna be uh, very good. You can also gonna uh, you can also go with the mixer grinder team. So first, let's talk about the teams that you can use with Ayaka. You can go with this team. I show you. There is one team. This is the team with the Ayaka. That's very good. It's the Shene, Kazuha, and Mona. Kazu, uh, Shene gives lots of lots of attack, eh? attack bonus and cryo resistance bonus to Ka Ayaka and Kazuha just gives cryo element bonus and Mona just apply uh, apply water and then trigger frozen reaction and Mona also gives damage buff. So this team is pretty good. I can show you the damage with this team and the next team that we can use with uh, with Aka just replace your Mona with Bennett so there's no frozen hair you're not gonna gain that 20% crit rate but you already having enough crit rate on your Ayaka like I'm having 40% crit rate 20% I'm getting from the artifact and 15% I'm getting from the uh, cryo resonance so one team one one of the team is going to be there there are many options with the Ayaka that you can use and Ayaka is very fun to play also the doing the charge attack cast with elemental skill and uh, deploying the elemental burst it's a lot of fun playing with Ayaka because, but Ayaka is also a kind of kind of skill based like doing the charge attack and casting elemental skill this is you have to uh, you have to know a proper rotation of this and then you can deal a massive amount of damage so playing with Ayaka needs a little little skills so in short guys in my opinion Ayaka is very good if you want to pull Ayaka in 2023 past 3.5 Ayaka is going to be very very worth because Ayaka gives first of all Ayaka gives huge amount of damage and Ayaka is not re uh, restricted to any kind of elemental damage like the superconduct or any other cryo related uh, reaction damage like a melt no Ayaka is not restricted to any kind of elemental reaction damage uh, what Ayaka gives Ayaka gives pure cryo raw cryo damage you can buff Ayaka's damage with a proper 5-star weapon or a good 4-star weapon and you can buff Ayaka's damage with Shani characters like Shani, Mona, Bennett and Kazuha. So, whether to pull or not on Ayaka, but if you are looking for a good cryo DPS character, Ayaka is the one. Ayaka is a very good cryo DPS character. Looking right now in the game that was happening in the game, looking to add the enemies, that what kind of enemy we are getting. Ayaka fits perfect. Ayaka gameplay fits perfect. You can kill any enemy with Ayaka. Uh, okay, at last guys, there's only six type of teams in the Genshin Impact for Ayaka. First gonna be the Ayaka Ganyu, Ayato, Kokomi, that's gonna be the frozen, full frozen team. Second is the Ayaka, Mona, Tiona, Venti. This is the frozen team, but with the Venti, and you can collect enemies into the one place for the crowd control, and then you can burst, uh, use use a burst of Ayaka and the massive amount of damage to multiple enemies. Uh, third team is gonna be the Ayaka, Mona, Tiona, and Kazuha, this is the, this is also the, you know, same team, uh, like the second team, but the difference is the Kazuha. If you have Kazuha, then you can use the Kazuha. Fourth team is gonna be the Ayaka, Ganyu, Kokomi, and Kazuha. This is also uh, same concept going on here. It's also a frozen team with the crowd control character Kazuha, and Ganyu here is for the constant uh, cryo application. And then fifth team is gonna be the Ayaka. Uh, Rosaria, Kokomi, and Kazuha. Same things going on here. Rosaria for the constant 
cryo application and cryo resistance kokomi is for the water so it's for the frozen and kazuha here for the crowd control still six and the last two is going to be the aka shan he kazuha and kokomi uh, no one is recommending you no one's gonna recommend you to use bennett with ka with your ayaka but you can use bennett with uh, ayaka if you're having a uh, pretty much high crit rate like if you're already having 40 to 45 percent crit rate on your uh ayaka then you're getting 20 percent from the uh, artifacts the four piece blizzard and you're gaining 15 percent from the cryo resonance then you can add a uh, bennett instead of a water character in your team i use a bennett i use a bennett in the video in this parallel is and bennett works perfectly fine you can use bennett in the place of a water character in your team for ayaka so this is the all team that you can use with ayaka not restricted to any one specific character so ayaka can kill a single enemy and ayaka can kill multiple enemy at the same time ayaka is super fun and ayaka is totally worth in 2023 where everything happening <laughs> around dendro reactions hyper bloom aggravate quick bloom bloom everything happening around dendro reaction but still ayaka shines and gives a massive amount of prior damage so yes guys you can pull for ayaka freely So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video, you can hit the like button and you can also subscribe to my channel for more Genshin related videos in the future. Guys, we'll meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye and take care.